guys, it's Mad Dolls, and in today's video, we will be unboxing the new Monster High Monster Ball Cleo Denial doll. I got her at Target, I believe on their website, but the dolls are in Target stores, and now... I went the other day and I got all the Feardescent dolls and they had all these and they had some Barbie movie dolls so Target is kind of slaying right now so go, go to Target. <laughs> I think she was like $30 if I'm telling the truth I don't know. I literally unboxed all the others we've got Laguna, Draculord, and Claudine so you can go check out those videos here and I've literally unboxed like every G3 product ever so you could go check out those videos. Go follow me on Instagram and TikTok I've got lots of fun stuff going on there and please subscribe it means the world to me and now without further ado let's unbox Miss Cleo Denial. So here she is in the box. It says Monster High Cleo Denial Monster Ball. And here is the beautiful artwork by Darko Dordovic down in the corner of Claudine Laguna Draculaura and Cleo herself. She looks so gorgeous in this box. And now the boxes for this series also come in like a disco ball. It is so cute and cool. And here is the back of the box with more full artwork of the duels. It says a monster ball. And there they all are. I am heartbroken heartbroken that they got rid of her bangs. Somewhere along the process, she had bangs and they got rid of them and I just don't understand why they would ever, ever do that. It is foolish. Give us back Cleo's bangs. As a bang gal myself, I love bangs. Let's bring them back. Cleo deserves her bangs. And this, I mean, this artwork is just breathtaking. Like this artwork, Darko, it's better than the doll. So I love that. Now it does have a little write up down here that I will read. It says, Scare Accessories, Eye of Horus, Purse and Compact, Fave Ballroom Snack, Scary Cupcakes, Monster Photo Prop, Fabulous Tiara and Scepter, which I mean, look at it. That is everything. So I am gonna unbox Cleo and I will be right back. Okay, Cleo is all out of the box. If you wanna see the unboxing video early, go follow me on TikTok. It'll be there first. So these accessories are literally giving me on life. First of all, we are bringing back the Monster High cards. If you're an OG Monster High fan, you remember that the dolls used to come with these little cards. I love that they're bringing it back. They are so fierce. They're literally just cardboard, but they mean everything to me. Uh, here we have a picture of Claudine Laguna, Cleo, and Draculaura. We also have this cute little golden disco ball that says Cleo Denial. And these cupcakes are everything. Look at this pyramid of cupcakes. We've got purple cupcakes, we've got blue cupcakes, and more purple cupcakes. They literally have golden pyramids on the top, which is so cute. And of course, the bottom wrappers are like a gold dust. It's everything. It's so Cleo. Oh my gosh. And then each individual layer is this black that has different little bricks in it, like a pyramid. It is literally so fierce. Here she is next to it. And we've also got these golden pyramid like tongs, which is so cute and fierce. I literally love it so much. At least I think that's what this is. I think, I would hope, I don't know, I believe. And this little pyramid compact, oh my gosh, it's everything. Like in there is literally like a little like spoolie, which Cleo would never use that thing, gross. But um, we've also got some red, blue and like a light blue eyeshadow in there and it literally comes in this cute little pyramid that has textures and bricks on it and there's a little handle for the doll to hold it and like look at this purse this purse is giving the rest of the purses in the series were not my favorite so this one is everything it is this bright royal blue eye of horus which is i mean stunning gorgeous eleganza there's lots of molded in details and this even has like some snake patterns on it which is so cool and it does actually open so you can put stuff in there like her little mirror compact i don't want to break my nail I'm trying to open it oh ooh, i got one end okay there we go period and then look at the front we've got gold teal black a little bit of a little eggshell color going on painted on details it's everything we need them and now this is my favorite part I don't like to know anything about the dolls before I open them. Um, I did not know that she came with this stuff because this, this is everything. Look at this gorgeous scepter. It is a gold snake. I'm going to assume it's his set with a crown on top of it. There is a handle for the doll to actually be able to hold it. And then her tail wraps around this dark blue scepter. It is so gorgeous. And of course, there's a gem at the bottom. I would have loved to see this be a light blue. Oh my gosh, because then it would have matched her like old little diamond cheek thing. So fierce. I can't. Like, uh, 
Cleo. Cleo. Love it. And this, <laughs> this is everything. These headpieces the Monster had also been coming with lately are ridiculously amazing. So look at this gorgeous golden headpiece. Coming out of it is all these like spikes that are just so gorgeous. And we've got, of course, two little ears. I assume kind of um, to represent Anubis, but I might be wrong. And then of course, look at the gorgeous, gorgeous sun centerpiece. At least I think that is what that is. I'm not too sure. It is literally so gorgeous. We've got painted on teal, orange, red, dark blue details. They're everywhere. Really so stunning. I am in love. I don't know if it goes on in front of what she already has on. I'm gonna assume it does. Cause like, hello? That is fierceness to the max. So now let's take an up close look at our ghoul. So Miss Cleo Denial comes with gorgeous, long, saran, dark, dark blue hair. I like that she's coming with blue hair now. It's really cool. Cause it like never has all teal hair, so it kind of makes sense. It's fierce. And we've got some light blue streaks in there. And of course her iconic gold tinsel. I am the only person in the whole world that likes the tinsel. I just think it's so pretty. It's so pretty, I'm sorry. <laughs> and now she has all that pulled up into a ponytail on the top of her head. And holding that is this gorgeous golden ponytail holder piece that has hieroglyphics on it and different like pyramid molds, which is so fierce. I love that. And then, oh my gosh, her makeup. Y'all, her makeup is everything. She's got some dark kind of gray black eyebrows with some dark purple for the outer lid with some, of course, the gold yellow for the inner corner. And underneath her eye is also some yellow going into a light teal blue. And her eyelashes are so fierce. The way that they draw her eyelashes are always just so gorgeous. And she's got a light pink lipstick with, of course, a gold strip going down the bottom lip. And now Miss Cleo has got these gorgeous golden pyramid earrings. I can't quite tell what's in the earring, but it looks like a person. I am just very blind and I cannot see because it's so little. But there's somebody in the pyramids, which is really cool. And then she's got on this gorgeous golden matching necklace that has different gems that are red and like a light teal color. So gorgeous. And she also has this long ring going across four different fingers that is different symbols and perhaps hieroglyphics i can't quite tell and this bracelet oh my god it is so cool it is a golden snake wrapped around her arm it has blue eyes it is so cool i'm gonna pretend because cleo is a snake charmer and she won so i'm gonna pretend that like she charmed it and she's like i'm gonna wear you now period <laughs> And she also has a matching gold belt that has a scarab in the middle of it with, of course, painted on orange teal details. Love. And now this dress is like gorgeous, the house down gorge, gorge. We've got this like black tulle kind of mesh fabric that is going up the front of the dress into two puffs on the shoulders that is so, so pretty. There's golden flecks all throughout it. And then down here at the waist, it is cut into two separate pieces going into one, two, three gorgeous layers around our ghoul. It is so, so pretty, I love it. And then underneath that, we've got this blue dress. It is very soft feeling. It has all these different symbols and hieroglyphics and illustrations on it that is so, gorge and also those golden little specks are painted on this dress as well we've got light blues teals oranges and golds in the designs that are on there and now i love cleo's shoes she got all the painted details and nobody else did look at these gorgeous golden sandals we've got a blue strap with painted on oranges and teals for the buckles and of course the eye of horus as the straps like button i would say and there's paint on details in that even we've got black and blue and gold it is uh, so fierce i love it and then at the bottom of the shoe down here these are all pyramid bricks and then the heel itself is a black snake holding her up amazing 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 and of course the new G3 Cleo dolls come with molded on bandages, which I love. I love that they took that aspect from G2. That was the only redeeming quality of G2. It is fierce. 
because if Cleo doesn't have a bandage on, she'll turn to dust, so period. Now, my biggest complaint with G3 dolls, of course, and it always will be, is that they don't come with doll stands, which is gross and ridiculous. They should come with doll stands. It is very silly that they do not. So this doll stand is from Amazon. I will link it down below. It will be an affiliate link because I just got them and I'm trying to learn how to use them. <laughs> but on a more positive note, Monster High dolls now come with more articulation. We've got the head, the shoulders, the elbows, the hands, the hands come on and off. We've got articulation in the chest, the hip and the knee. Loves it. So now here we have Dawn of the Dance, Cleo Denial from back in the day. And I like that both of these dolls took very different approaches to the character. Like we've got green. Like Cleo in this like green color is so fierce. It's like such a bright, bright green. It is so cool. And then this Cleo, I mean, in this like blue, dark, dark blue, it is just so fierce and gorgeous. Now I do wish that maybe some more could be going on with the makeup and we need those bangs. We need the bangs. Sorry, it's just how it is. Because, I mean, look at how, like, it elevates the look to just a whole nother level. And I love that this one has teal uh, tinsel in her hair. Um, that would have been really cool to see instead of the gold. Because we, we see the gold a lot. So that this is a different color, it makes it more like, oh, yeah, it's a dance. It's special. A special occasion. And I like how this bracelet is metallic. That would have been cool to see in some of Cleo's new accessories but overall literally so gorge i love them both a lot so use my whatnot link for 15 dollars off your first purchase as a free 15 dollars free to use for free go use it and follow me on instagram and tiktok i've got lots of fun stuff going on there and like i said you can see the unboxing video early if you go follow me and please subscribe it means the world to me and at the end of my videos i like to rank the doll on a scale of one to ten for me i'm saying a solid nine i want those bangs i want a doll stand i'm sorry but i love everything she comes with and i think she's overall she's so gorgeous i love her it is very much a cleo denial doll thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you next time bye